welcome to our tutorial on base clef staff notes. I have uh, a few here. Uh, we're actually going to start with this one first. A lot of people think that the base clef is really, really hard, but actually it's probably the easiest one because if you start from the first space, um, this is an A, and that starts the alphabet. So space one is A, and if you actually count from there, you just go space, line, space, line, space, line, count your way up, and you just count it through the alphabet. So the first note A is a space note. After a space note will always come a line note, and a line note goes to a space, and a line, and a space, and a line, and so on. So this note right here is A, and then if you look at the next one, A would live here, and then the next note is B. I'll reach and get my pointer. And with B, I said so you can slide down Mr. Bass Clef's tail, or you can count from space 1A. So Mr. Bass Clef's tail is right here, so there's your B line right there, or just count from A. So that's our B. So A, B, and our next one is, guess what it is? It is a C. So here we have A, B, and then your C, and this one just says C, count from space one, A. It's the fastest way to learn your notes, is just counting up through your staff, as opposed to using rhymes. Rhymes sometimes don't work. Sometimes uh, when people start using rhymes, they never really stop using them. So counting straight through them is usually the best way. So this note is on our middle line in Mr. Bass Clef. And we call this one D diddle diddle, D is in the middle. So that's a great counting point as well, that if you have a note that's up higher, you can always count from D instead of starting all the way from A and figure out what your note is. And if we started from A, it would be A, B, C, and then D. And after D, of course, comes E. So again, I could count from my D line and say, okay, I know D is here, so the next note after D is E. Or we can count A, B, C, D, and then E. After E comes F, and actually, Mr. Bass Clef used to be called Mr. F Clef, or just F Clef. And it was a very, very fancy F that used to show up um, on the staff. Now, it's been like this for years, the Bass Clef. And you'll notice that it also has two dots that go along with it. And if you look in between the dots, that's where your F lives on that line. So sometimes I'll say, Fireman Fred, he puts his ladder up to line number four, climbs on up, and there he is right there. Or you can count from A. A, B, C, D, E, F. Or if you're used to it, you can count from D. D, E, F. And over here, I got F lives between the two dots, or count from the middle line D, or of course, you can count from your A. So that's our F. What comes after F is our G. So here's our G. One of the simplest ways to find G is to remember that this line here is F. So if that's F, there's G. You can also count from the D line or you can count from your A. So if you count it all the way up from A, it would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And on the back it says G. Count from F, which is the line between the two dots, or count from D, the middle line. And of course, you can always count from A. So after G in music, the next note, it returns back to the beginning to A again. So this is A here on our top line. Again, you can count from your F and say F, G, A, or you can count all the way from down here, from your A down here, or from your D. And here I say, Anteater A is in the attic. So this is Mr. Bass Clef's house. And Anteater is right there at the top. He is in the attic. Then we have one more. And this note is outside of Mr. Bass Clef's house. 
So there's Mr. Bass Clef's house. And we're going to figure out this note. We're going to count from the F line. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And this one we call uh, B is bouncing on the roof. So we call this the roof of Mr. Bass Clef's house. So if I turn it over, it says B is bouncing on the roof. Always a really easy one to, to remember. Now there were two more at the beginning that I didn't talk about yet because we started right here with our A because I wanted to start with the alphabet. Now if we go one note before A is this one. Now this is where you have to think backwards a little bit and figure out well what note comes before A and the answer is G. And what I like about this too is that if you look at the first three notes here starting on this line, so G, A, and B, that also spells a word, gab. So if you all want to count from the G line, you can, but you remember that this is the gab, the first three notes. Now before G comes F, and this is our F right here, just at the bottom, outside Mr. Basecliff's house, but right underneath, right there. Now the, the chances of playing Fs right now are probably pretty small, but it's nice to know that you could read all of the notes that are involved in Mr. Bass Clef. That's all for today.